Hey, Mark Testa here, Chief Health and Wellness Advisor for Pine Pollen Superfoods and Train for Longevity. Today, I want to talk to you about the top five nutritional supplements for men's health. Men are obviously, in many ways, different than women, and so we're going to just hone in on the top five. There's probably uh, another half a dozen easily that uh, would fit this list, but let's pick um, number one, vitamin D, vitamin D3. Now, several years ago, I tested about 100 people. I saw two people, literally, and I live in Colorado, where they had an adequate level of vitamin D. Vitamin D is involved in many metabolic processes, bone health, muscle health, uh, aids in sleep, can be beneficial with cardiovascular disease and uh, sugar metabolism. Also very important in the immune system functions of the body. And so many people are insufficient in this. How can it be in a sunny state like Colorado? Well, we wear clothes, right? You wear SPF sunscreens and we don't get enough sun. So um, I encourage if you have a good doctor that'll measure your vitamin D levels to have it checked and start there and then supplement accordingly. The other, uh, another one of the important vitamins Vitamins for men is the B complexes. Vitamin B helps control and run all kinds of metabolic processes, helps within the mitochondria, um, helps with nerve function, with DNA repair, and a lot of people, and I'm not sure of the number, but many people, let's say, have a uh, genetic uh, polymorphism. That means that the gene that you got from your mom and dad have a little different twist to them where maybe you can't metabolize certain B vitamins very well. I have this. It's called the MTHFR gene and it affects folate, vit vitamin B7. And so I have to take a special kind of B complex to make sure I get adequate amounts of this because it's not in typical foods. It's found in green leafy vegetables. And so you've got to eat quite a bit of that as well. Also, if you're a vegan or vegetarian, it's important to get B12. And that's found mostly in animal meats. And so Sometimes we need to supplement, but if your energy is running low, if you have nerve issues, if you are fatigued, uh, if you drink a lot of caffeine or alcohol, uh, water these are water-soluble vitamins and excreted in the urine, also excreted in sweat, so it's important to replenish them. Obviously, best to get this stuff in foods, nuts, fruits, vegetables, um, wholesome grains, uh, animal protein, right? Next one is magnesium. I love magnesium. Uh, it operates about 400 different metabolic processes in our body, meaning it's an enzyme catalyst to make things happen. It helps with muscle contraction, muscle relaxation, blood pressure, sleep, energy production. Similar with the B vitamins, it helps our mitochondria convert food that we eat into what actually runs our body, which is ATP. So magnesium, 400 different metabolic processes. There's some statistic that about 50% of Americans are deficient in magnesium and it affects our health adversely. So, um, you know, a couple hundred milligrams at bedtime will help you sleep and will probably help with your energy and your workouts. Uh, another big one, especially for men, is zinc. Zinc also involved in about 300 different metabolic processes, meaning the process doesn't happen thoroughly or efficiently if you're insufficient or deficient in any of these nutrients, zinc being an important one. Zinc is involved in the immune system, again, similar to vitamin D. Zinc helps with wound healing. And if you're eating a poor diet or you're eating food that's not organic, and you're getting glyphosate uh, into your gut. It's ruining the gut lining, causing leaky gut system, uh, syndromes, and zinc helps heal that gut lining. It's also very important in male uh, sexual function, erection and sperm production. And I can't tell you how many men I talk to who have problems with both those or have difficulty with... Um, uh, having their wife get pregnant and don't take zinc or don't know about it. So certain levels of zinc, high also in nuts, in uh, seafood, 
um, in beef and uh, animal protein. Sometimes you need to take it as a nutritional supplement. Now, the last really important one I think that we don't get enough of anywhere in our diet are omega-3 fatty acids. Typically found in fish, um, krill, fish oil, krill, um, and uh, eggs to some extent, and nuts to some extent, but we don't get enough of this. And these omega-3 oils can really help with inflammation, down-regulating it. Obviously, we want to do that with our diet and our lifestyle, but also these things can help. These things have also been shown to be beneficial with improving uh, cholesterol levels. Also used quite a bit for uh, inflammatory problems with the joints. So if you have sore joints, uh, fish oil is beneficial. Also, uh, vitamin D, again, and fish oil have been shown to be beneficial with mood, seasonal affective disorder, and depression. So um, these five supplements are really important for men. Find ways to get them, preferably in your diet, but if you need to supplement, it's a great these are the great ones to supplement with. I'm not saying you got to take a whole multivitamin or, or or even a handful of vitamins. Obviously, it's all best in your in your in your meals. And again, vitamin D, D3 and get it from the sun. Go outside, take your shirt off. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes on a 2 square foot area of your skin to get an adequate dose of vitamin D, and then you don't wash it off. You don't go right into the shower. Your body is converting that sunlight, that ultraviolet light into vitamin D. B complex, you can get it in nuts and animal protein and grains and vegetables, green leafy vegetables. Uh, magnesium, a lot of similar uh, places to grab this uh, crucial mineral. And if you're having problems sleeping, I encourage you get this. Um, zinc, immune system repair, male hormone production, sperm production, testosterone production, erection uh, benefits. So check that out. And lastly, the omega-3 oils. You can get them in fish oil. Just make sure they're clean fish oils. They're not going to be the cheap ones. If you're burping them up, they're not good because fish has mercury in it. So we want to make sure that the fish oil, if you're going to supplement, is clean, has been tested for heavy metals, and you're not actually poisoning yourself more with these things. So I hope this helps you. These Five supplements for men are very beneficial. Um, start taking them if you uh, feel the need or the desire. Let me know how they're working for you. And uh, again, best to find them in foods, but sometimes we've got to supplement some of this stuff to get adequate doses. Any questions, let us know. And uh, you got to be your own doctor because no one else can do it for you. We'll see you in the next video.